Hey guys, welcome back to Fabulous. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button and join the Fafu squad. This is me, Fizasha Bir Ahmed, and doing another first impression plus a tutorial for you all guys and a review at the end of this video. So if you guys want to see how I created this look using the James Charles palette. Yes, I did use the new Morphe X James Charles palette which is beautiful, which is really beautiful, really amazing. It's literally like one palette for all kind of personalities and all that thing. I really enjoyed using this. So if you guys want to see how I created this look using this palette, make sure you watch till the end. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I got that kind of So this is the James Schultz palette. I received it after a month. I guess it's after a month or more than a month. So yeah, it actually was out of stock and all that thing. It was a mess. And finally I got it. And yeah, this is full white packaging. I love the way James Shaw looks here. It's like Ah, I'm so excited. And this is the back side. Don't mind, I'm sick. Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my palette. Not channel, my palette. I love glam, but also I have a huge passion for crazy, colorful, outside the box makeup. And I created this palette with that in mind. I included every beautiful formulated shades necessary to create literally any look you could possibly possibly imagine. I can't wait to see you what you come up with when you unleash your inner artist. Yeah. Yep, James Charles sign. Oh my god, I'm so in love. Okay, so this is my first impressions. I didn't even open, I didn't even see how this looks. So yeah, I'm opening this. Woo! I'm actually looking at the monitor, so it's like... Guys, I really love the idea of this matte black and... I don't know what it's called, but yep, I love this idea. Literally, I have this in mind, like if I have my own palette, I want it to be like matte black. It would be so cool, right? Yeah. So. It doesn't have anything on the back, it's plain on that black. So here I'm gonna open this. Wow! So these come with 39 beautiful stunning shade i wanted this palette like i wanted this colorful shades and this natural shade because i usually go with natural shades i don't go with a lot of colorful shades so you know that's why i can use these and i can use these it's really so the first shade i'm gonna be using is canvas with sigma e60 brush i'm using this as a base shade because this is really bright so that it helps other colors will really lighten up and look really cool with this so yeah you guys can see the difference already this is so damn light and this is the natural it has some kind of baking powder on it but still this is a really light canvas Now I'm going to be taking some tape to just put up. So now taking the Sigma E45 brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Escape, which is this dark purple. I have really no idea how this purple is going to work, but yep. 
we are gonna give this a try. Never mind. I don't know why this happens, but I literally forgot to on my camera. And guys, I literally tried this shade. This shade worked so good. I'm gonna go do in this eyes and show you guys. That is so damn pigmented, guys. I'm gonna be using this shade only focusing in my crease because I really want to put some transition different shades. So yeah, I'm focusing only towards my outer crease and bringing it towards my middle crease. Yeah, this is how I'm going, circular motion. I'm gonna bring it towards lower crease and then blend it inwards. I'm gonna blend this inwards. Now taking the same Sigma E45 brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Cola, which is this one. Let's use this in my inner corner and my inner crease. But yes, exactly like the previous one, I'm going to be focusing only on my crease area and blending this book together I actually had to take a smaller tip brush but I don't know I just used this one it would be much better if you guys use any smaller tip brush I'm just going in with this one because I'm too lazy Wow guys, this, these shades are so damn pigmented to be cracked. Literally, I love. I'm gonna be taking a thin tip brush and going in with the shade Skip, which is the bright pink shade. Yeah. Taking this Skip shade, I'm gonna be using it as my transition shade. I'm softly going to blend these two shades together. So once I'm done with the pink, I'm going to go in with the shade Playground which is a lighter sky blue kind of thing so I'm gonna be using this a light blue shade over so really going it with a light blue and Yep, just wow, this shit is so cool. This is looking so amazing. Wow, I'm so happy the way this is turning out. So guys, what I did is I just quickly went off camera and made my cut crease, which you guys can see. And I just added a little more color on this side. I just wanted to see how it goes on. So I'm going to do the exact same on this side of my eye and show you guys what I'm going to create. So once I'm done with doing the cream cut crease, what I did was I went on with the shade flashback using the Sigma E75 brush and just took some of this just like that so once I'm done using the flashback shade I went on back with the shade escape 
using and with the Sigma E30 brush. I'm gonna use the shade in my outer V, blending it out, blending it inwards and outwards. Now I'm going to be taking some of this glitter liner and using it to create this cut crease. Now I'm going to be going in with the brush E20 and go in with the shade Spooky. For this what I'm going to do is just create a really rough eyeliner shade. any kind of mistake while creating this so here i am back with my lashes done and my eyes ready and clean so now i'm gonna be using in this shade a daddy with a flat tip brush i'm gonna be taking the daddy shade and going Oh, this has a lot of fallout. Never mind. I'm supposed to do that. The daddy shade. I'm gonna be applying that a shade in my lower lash line. So once I'm done using the green daddy shade, I'm gonna go in with the shade B, which is this bright yellow shade. I I really love yellow shades, but I never tried. Oh yeah, it does work. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yes, this works. Now I'm gonna go finish rest of my face and I'll be back with you guys. So guys, that's it for today's tutorial and first impression of uh, this James Charles X Morphe. No, Morphe X James Charles new palette. It's not new. It's been a while, but I had it new. So yeah, it's new for me. So I really enjoyed using, and for me personally, I loved the packaging and the shades because. It is that kind of palette which is all in one. You have all these shades in just one palette. You can use for rainbow looks, you can use go for like natural looks, you can really go for like any kind of looks you want in just one palette. So it's like really nice for me because I really wanted a palette which has all of these colors together and finally this is here and yes I was waiting for that moment when these kind of palettes would come out and I'll just Go grab them. I really enjoyed playing with these shades, especially the rainbow ones. I will really create some more new look for you guys if you guys really want to see to do some more colorful rainbow kind of looks. Uh, stay tuned for that, and and also stay tuned for my Instagram videos, which is back to fabulous. And about the fallouts, I would say it's not too much. There is a little amount of fallout, especially I guess the daddy shade, which is the green one, had a lot of fallout, which was when I was using it in my lower lash line. So yeah, 
so be careful or do it like before you apply your foundation complete your eyes and then do on with your foundation base or anything other than that I was going on with this shade but I actually went on with this shade for a highlighter first it didn't work out because the brush didn't take it so what I did I changed my brush and then used it over the fix plus and then it worked out so well and I would really suggest you guys to use this shade and this shade together for highlighter it would be really 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 good and really blinding and yeah other than that I really love the whole palette I really love everything about this palette If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and join the Fat Fist Squad by subscribing to my channel.